Well, you know, they say that the dark times are here. They are uh, with every insanity that's going on right now. Uh, you've seen what's going on in New York with the migrant crisis that's going on there. Uh, the protests are just continuing on. While in the shadow of it, uh, basically crime is up, drugs is up. I mean, we have a story today uh, about certain deaths of children. We'll have that today on this edition of the Fast Five. Uh, besides that, uh, we, you know, our politicians are not doing anything to remedy the situation. Uh, we have um, people going to jail that shouldn't be going to jail, and the ones that should be in jail are, are not in jail at all. And of course, all the insanity of what the, the mainstream media is pushing upon the general public. But here we are. It's Monday again right here on the Fast Five, where we have just five, one, two, three, four, five stories for you. Some of them you might have heard, some of them you might not have heard, but we're going to go through them. Uh, we've got uh, some sad news and we've had some good news, so we'll have a little bit of mixture and a mystery on top of that thrown in all together. So let's just get started on this edition of the Fast Five. Straight out of the box, sad news in Bronx, New York. A one-year-old boy is dead. Three other children hospitalized after possibly ingesting fentanyl at a Bronx daycare center. Uh, Friday afternoon, police sources say the horrific scene unfolded around 2.40 p.m. at the Divino Nino on Morris Avenue in Kingsbridge neighborhood where four tots, one uh, the one-year-old, two two-year-olds, and an eight-month-year-old girl were found unresponsive in the basement, sources say. The children had gone down for naps when, and were supposed to wake up at 2.30. Sources say uh, they all had eaten something about 90 minutes earlier. The three children were Mr. Narcan, one of whom responded to the life-saving drop. The cop says all four were rushed to area hospitals where the one-year-old was declared dead. The three others are in stable condition, police said. The eighth-month-year-old girl was treated for dehydration, according to sources. This is the reason why we need to close our borders uh, and also for our police officials to do their job to start raiding places or, you know, throughout the, in New York, throughout the city on there. Because uh, we have, especially in the Bronx, we have uh, drug factories uh, on a constant basis. And this needs to be fully investigated. Why, if there was fentanyl in this house, why was it there? Who does it belong to? Or were these children poisoned in their food and why? Only time will tell. Staying in New York, well, you know, considering with all the insanity that's going on and how uh, Mayor Adams is diverting funds from each department to pay for the market crisis, uh, guess what the New York Sanitation is unveiling? Uh, they're unveiling a new trash can. And uh, guess what? It costs the city $1,000 each. Uh, these future ashes gar uh, garbage cans will soon appear on New York City streets following a delay tied to a feature of a newfangled $1,000 trash receptacle. The cans, designed by a, a group project, has a lightweight plastic liner inside a per perforated metal and a concrete shell topped with a swinging lid. The first shipment of 300 trash cans arrived this month and will be installed around the city in the next few weeks, said Sanitation Commissioner Jessica Tisch. If you're not familiar with that name, well, the, the woman who's running our sanitation belongs to the family that owns the New York Giants. You know, you look at these garbage cans and you can go online, you can find similar ones at half the price. Why did we have to pay a thousand dollars for these receptacles? Especially with the crisis that is going on right now. This is a ridiculous amount of money to pay for a garbage can. Meanwhile, out of a mystery novel, uh, parents of a Philadelphia teacher found dead with 20 stab wounds loses battle to overturn suicide ruling. Ellen Greenberg's 2011 death was initially ruled a homicide and then switched to suicide. 
Uh, her parents' years-long mission to overturn the ruling ended in defeat this week. Ellen Greenberg was 27 years old when her fiancé discovered her body on the kitchen floor of the Mayunk apartment they shared in January 2011. She had 20 stab wounds to her body, including 10 to her back and neck. A 10-inch long kitchen knife was embedded in her chest. Uh, Greenberg's death was initially ruled a homicide, then switched to a suicide, which sparked a 12-year-long mission by her parents to get justice for their daughter, who, who they believe was murdered. But on Wednesday, the Commonwealth uh, Court upheld the appeal of the Philadelphia Medical Examiner's Office and overturned the lowest court ruling that could have reopened her death investigation. And I'll tell you, this is a strange... How can you say that with 20 stab wounds, 10 of them in your back, that this is suicide? I understand that the door, everything was locked down. It was locked. But <laughs> I'm telling you, this is something that, you know, you need a, a Macmillan and wife or a Columbo to solve because, you know, this is one of the most unusual way, ways to be found dead. I mean, you know, I can understand, you know, when, when it comes to being hung and you, you have the doubts on it because of the way on there. And sometimes, hey, listen, sometimes the, the hangings are... Uh, have been uh, staged by somebody. This does not smell to the test. This should be investigated. And I'm sorry that the parents can't go any further with this story. This will be left for the pages of a mystery novel or one of those mystery shows in the far future. But let's turn over to some good news. Uh, October is going to be a good month for anime. Because we have several good animes returning, especially these two, uh, with the upcoming Spy X Family uh, Code White. The second season will be kicking off, uh, which uh, it will be around October 7th. If you haven't seen Spy X Family, it is a great series. It's a lot of fun. Everyone can watch. Meanwhile, on the other side of it, on October 6th, uh, the Rise of the Shield Hero Season 3 will be here, uh, which is one of my favorites out there. You know, it has been very controversial, which that controversy did not need to be there. Uh, it is a good adventure, Izekai adventure. Uh, for those of you out there, you should try to catch both of these anime adventures. And finally... With the success of season one, you kind of expected this. Uh, the One Piece live action series will get its season two. Hopefully they will stay in the same direction uh, on there. It is clear that it's been a hit, uh, but it wasn't quite so clear how much more we'll get to see. Thankfully, it looks like Netflix is ready to continue sailing the seas with Luffy and the rest of the Straw Hat Pirates because uh, season two is ready to go. It's been written, uh, and who better to make the announcement than the series creator Ichiro Oda himself via snail transponder. You know, that's the one thing that I've seen this, the snail transponders are straight on on this series on there. And you know, and I guess uh, we're gonna get to see the live action look on Chopper. We'll see how they're gonna do that. And, um, you know, I'm hoping they're not going to do too much with what happened with season one. There were some characters missing, and I think one of the story arcs was missing too. Uh, mostly, like, for example, the uh, pirate kids that were favored by Captain Usopp were missing from the series. They, they were an important part of that storyline itself. Uh, overall, the look of this is was very good it was very well done um obviously a lot of the special effects had to be done in a dark sphere sort of like a, a dark look to it um you know we need to improve that so basically special effects like that can be done in daylight more of a daylight atmosphere than more of a darker atmosphere or dark look uh, to it we still have a long way to go with cgi but i'm not saying this is the top best anime adaptation it still leads to to others uh 
Oh, actually, a couple others. Uh, Alita Battle Angel, and of course, Alice in Borderland, which is, which is, if you haven't caught that, it's really good. I haven't seen the second season yet on that. Uh, there is an anime version uh, also available. Do check that out. But tell me, what do you think of, this, of these five particular stories? Don't forget to comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this. So until next Monday, do check out Mad Men with the Show, Tuesday through Thursday, right here on all of our social media platforms, BitChute, YouTube, Rumble, and Odyssey. So until next time, stay strong, and uh, we'll see you on Fast Five next Monday at noon. Thanks for watching. Before you go, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and share this video. Also, if you haven't yet, please subscribe as it helps us increase the reach of our channel. Once again, thank you for watching and your support.